Hello everybody, my name is Jared Weathers and welcome back to another Life in Times video. This time we are discussing former Lions quarterback Joey Harrington. From getting drafted number 3 by Detroit to retirement and everything in between, this is the Life in Times of Joey Harrington. Joey Harrington was born October 21st, 1978 in Portland, Oregon, graduating from Central Catholic High School. Harrington finished his high school career with more than 4,200 yards and 50 touchdowns rushing and passing. Harrington's grandfather and father both played QB for the University of Portland and Oregon, and upon hearing of Joey's birth, legendary Oregon's Duck coach Len Casanova jokingly sent his parents a letter of intent. Harrington attended the University of Oregon. His first year, he played two games with one throwing attempt and a 0.0, .0 passing percentage. In 1999, the starting QB of the Oregon Ducks got drafted as a senior. AJ Freely won the starting position before being sidelined with an elbow injury and backing up Joey Harrington. He played eight games in his second season winning the Sun Bowl versus the Minnesota Golden Gophers 24-20. Harrington took the Ducks to the Holiday Bowl, winning versus the Texas Longhorns 35-30. After A.J. Freely got drafted, Harrington took the number 2 Oregon Ducks to the Fiesta Bowl versus the number 3 Colorado Buffaloes, winning 38-16. Harrington was one of the five Heisman Trophy finalists, losing to Eric Crouch, the quarterback of the Nebraska Cornhuskers. With the... Uh Third choice in the 2002 draft, the Detroit Lions suggest, select Joey Harrington, quarterback from Oregon. Harrington was selected number three in the 2002 draft by the Detroit Lions, taking over the QB position from current Lions quarterback, quarterback Mike McMahon. In 2002, Harrington's first year, he played 14 games, completing 215 throws off of 429 attempts, throwing for 2,294 yards, and bringing in the lowest QB rating he ever had in the NFL at 59.9%, ending the season 3-13. and In 2003, Joey Harrington established the Harrington Family Foundation as a nonprofit organization. During the 2003 season, Harrington completed 309 completions off of 554 attempts with a 63.9% QB rating, ending the season 5 and 11. The 2004 season was Harrington's best season as a Lion, throwing for 19 touchdowns and 3,047 yards, ending the season 6 and 10, and missing the playoffs for the fifth season in a row. During the 2005 season, Steve Marucci decided to sit Harrington for Jeff Garcia. After this season, Harrington was traded to the Miami Dolphins on May 12, 2006 for a fifth round draft pick in the 2007 draft. Harrington backed up Dolphins quarterback Dante Culpepper for the first four games of the season. Harrington lost his first three starts but went on a wild winning streak after beating the unbeaten Bears 31-13 and won four consecutive after this. Capping off his winning streak by beating his former team, the Detroit Lions, with a 27-10 victory at Ford Field. Miami ended the season 6-10. On April 9, 2007, Harrington agreed to a two-year, $6 million contract with the Atlanta Falcons and needed to compete with DJ Shockley and Chris Redmond to back up Michael Vick. Harrington was elevated to starting quarterback after Michael Vick was suspended for the 07 season. After going 0-2, Atlanta signed quarterback Brian Lethwich as a potential replacement for Harrington. Atlanta went 4-12, and on March 5, 2008, the Falcons released Harrington. He was re-signed by the team and released again in August after the preseason. Harrington signed with the New Orleans Saints as a third-string quarterback and was released five days later. On October 1st, Harrington re-signed but was cut again five days later. He re-signed with the Saints on October 12, 2008 as an inactive third-string quarterback. On March 30, 2009, Har Harrington was re-signed to a one-year deal by the Saints and was released again on September 5, 2009. Harrington would not sign with another NFL team. Harrington was a guest on the February 2, 2008 episode of NPR's Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me as a guest during the Not My Job segment. In 2009, Harrington worked as an NFL and college football commentator on Fox Sports Radio. In 2010, he served as a color analyst for the Oregon Ducks. Currently, Harrington is a college football analyst for Fox College Football on FX and Fox. All 
I've done this before with Tim Couch. I do think Joey could have done better, but we cannot overlook the simple fact that the Lions ownership did not give him or Jeff Garcia the tools to succeed. I think if Harrington was drafted by a different team in 2 I think we would be discussing him in a different light. Also, these teams like the Lions and Browns put high expectations on the players when they really usually need better coaching. Now, while I do disagree that I think Joey Harrington, um, obviously he didn't do that well on these other teams, but the, he did have a lot of potential going through his records and stuff. It, it looks like he had a lot of potential. Um, it's very sad that we have to talk to, about him in this kind of light as a bust uh, air quotes for that because it's kind of hard to be a bust when you're not given the right tools to win. Um, so, it, I mean, it happens, man. There's not a lot you can do about it. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you guys like these videos, please like and subscribe. Um, I have so many different videos I like doing, so please continue watching and, uh, t and uh, you know, comment below what, what you want me to talk about next. I'll talk about anything, man. Um, yeah, thank you guys. I love all of you.